This demonstration will have a bit more of a religious angle, so it will be part thoughts and prayers mixed with the push for tightened gun restrictions. But again, at the state level, movement on this does look unlikely. I have a lot of friends that are teachers. They're scared for their students. They're scared for themselves. Linda Featherston represents Overland Park in the Kansas House. A Democrat, she needs a Republican ally to move legislation forward. That means any legislation, not just bills related to guns. That's because Republicans have a super majority. But she says she's motivated, along with constituents, reflecting on the mass shooting in Texas and a recent code red called at her local grade school. The one kid comes to his lesson and says, oh, there was a code red and my friend and I were out in the hallway doing iPad drills and we had headphones on and he didn't hear. He didn't hear the code red, so I had to like shake him and get his attention so we could get back into the classroom. And he was quite quite upset by the whole thing. His mom said it was really hard on him that day. My colleague Joella Hoy has a fourth grader. You can't look at that fourth grader without thinking, oh my God, it could have been him. It could have been my daughter. My daughter's classroom is on the end of the school. If somehow they got in that end, she'd be gone. How can an 18 year old kid get a hold of an assault weapon when we can't get formulas for our babies? The gun laws need to be changed. Bishop John Birmingham Jr. is organizing another Stop the Violence prayer rally for Saturday as he's done in the past after other tragedies. He says more people are calling him now than ever. Bishop, what's going on in our country? That in our country, that somebody can walk into an elementary school in our country and, and slaughter uh, 19 children, our future, our hope, and kill two teachers. And they was crying as, as they were talking to me. And that group is planning on meeting out here tomorrow at 11 a.m. We did reach out to Kansas Republicans, some of them just feeling out the likelihood of movement on gun legislation, but have not received indication right now that that would be a priority, John.